Hey guys, it's Jen with another painting. This one is called Ditsy Daisy, and I decided that while you watch me paint this one, I am going to give you some quotes and advice and maybe a couple poems that are uplifting. I hope that they can uplift you, and if you don't need any upliftment at the moment, then keep them in your back pocket for somebody in your life who does. All right, so I'm going to start. Oh, by the way, I did not make any of these up. I found them all online or they were given to me by or by somebody else um, or I shared them. You know, they were like memes and stuff like that. So I did not create any of these. Life is full of ups and downs. Setbacks are normal and we all face challenges. Try your best to look for the silver linings during these times. Look for the opportunities within each and every obstacle and try to find the positive in the difficult situations if you can. Even when things seem uncertain, keep on going. Miracles are waiting for you. Be patient. Good things are coming your way. Everything will work out. You just got to give it time. Sometimes you need to erase the messages, delete the numbers, and move on. You don't have to forget who those per who those people were in your life. You just need to know that they're not meant to be in your life anymore. It's funny how we can outgrow what we once thought we couldn't live without, and then we fall in love with what we didn't even know we wanted. Life keeps leading us on journeys we would have never gone on if it were up to us. So don't be afraid and have faith. Find the lessons and trust the journey. A person will leave their 5 to 10 year relationship, then turn around and be in a new one the next day, all the while doing the things that their ex begged them to do with their new person. So stop begging and preaching. They hear you. Go find who you deserve. If they wanted to, they would have. Maybe it's not working out because God has something better for you. Sometimes it takes your breakdown to create your breakthrough, and sometimes your biggest disappointments lead you to your biggest blessings. Oscar Wilde said, A bore is someone who deprives you of your solitude without providing you company. Think about that one. When you watch your thoughts, you will tend to notice that you are either thinking of the past or the future and that the now is getting away from you. Frida Kahlo said, You deserve a lover who wants you disheveled with everything and all the reasons that wake you up in a haste and the demons that won't let you sleep. You deserve a lover who makes you feel safe, who can consume this whole world if he walks hand in hand with you. Someone who believes that his embraces are, perf are a perfect match for your skin. You deserve a lover who wants to dance with you, who goes to paradise every time he looks in your eyes and never gets tired of studying your expressions. You deserve a lover who listens when you sing, who supports you when you feel shame and respects your freedom, who flies with you and isn't afraid to fall. You deserve a lover who brings you hope, coffee, and poetry. Allow yourself to release negative emotions that no longer serve you. Be patient with yourself. Nothing in nature blooms all year. You can tell somebody over and over to leave a situation, but they won't until they are ready to. One day they will wake up and realize that this isn't how they want to feel like anymore and they'll be done. Become so confident in who you are that no, that no one's opinion or rejection or behavior can rock you. Not all storms come to disrupt your life. Some come to clear your path. You are not alone. God is taking you to the next level and certain people can't go with you. Start shaping your own day. Start walking your own walk. The journey is yours, so you need to take charge of it. Go where you are celebrated and not tolerated. If they can't see the real value in you, then it's time for a new start. Don't be afraid of new beginnings. 
new beginnings from new people, new surroundings, new energy, new challenges. Embrace new chances at happiness. It's okay to have bad days. Use them to grow. Stand in the discomfort of growth instead of retreating to what you know is not good for you anymore. A disagreement with a toxic partner will turn into an argument, which turns into a bigger problem. But a disagreement with a healthy partner will turn into a conversation that will lead to either changed behavior or a solution. It's important to know the difference. Don't worry about the people God removed from your life. He heard conversations you didn't, saw things you couldn't, and made moves that you wouldn't. The right partner will prioritize you. They will act with intention, love, and purpose. They will not taste you, but devour you. They will protect your heart and quench your soul. Let them judge you. Let them misunderstand you. Let them gossip about you. People's opinions aren't your problem. You need to stay kind, stay committed to love, and free in your authenticity. No matter what they do or say, don't you ever doubt your worth or the beauty of your truth. Keep shining. When you complain, you make yourself a victim. Leave the situation, change the situation, or accept the situation. All else is madness. Normalize finding love in your 40s. Normalize discovering and chasing new dreams in your 30s. Normalize finding yourself and your purpose in your 50s. Life does not end at 25, so let's stop acting like it does. Be firm about your choices right now. Don't go backwards to habits and situations that were not helping you to evolve. You have to keep reminding yourself why you decided to move forward. Stay positive about what is to come by being actively consistent with your change now. Beware of destination addiction, a preoccupation with the idea that happiness is either in the next place, the next job, with the next partner, or getting the next thing. Happiness will never be where you are unless you give up the idea that it is always somewhere else. All right, guys. Well, I that's it for the advice and the poems. Um, I hope you liked them. Let me know down below if that inspired you. We're coming to the end of this painting here. It's uh, just very cute and colorful and bright. I hope that these words of wisdom can brighten your day just like this painting brightened my day. Here's the big reveal. Isn't she pretty? All right. Well, thank you so much for listening and watching and until next time.